Mino Black, folks, and here you are currently on Mercury today, the 24th. And as we go up, we're going to see where it's at. <coughs> and yes, folks, we should have some kind of an eclipse. And I'm not sure if I missed or wasn't paying attention too much about that. But <coughs> so it'll be interesting to see the pictures. Like we did look at the eclipse before down there. And we do have other objects giving us a shadow down there. And we know that. If you've been watching the bottom, there's three cameras at Nehemiah for sure. You start at the top one that gives us the most interest. And the second one is the most recent most interest because it gives us the best shots. And then... Uh, the third is where you're going to see the eclipse action. You'll see the dark shadow. So there's your Mercury sky chart for today, okay, and your constellations and so forth. So let's go over to IE, moving over to seeing what's going on in the world. We've got a couple of earthquakes in the Ring of Fire today, and probably way more than that. As we go down here, 5.3 Indonesia, Papua New Guinea. Uh, so there you got some action there. And then, so the last, and then you've got some other ones, 5.2 and so forth, 4.3. And also pay attention to watch the idea of IE being a black, basically keeping you covered on data. And we do, and we have suspected anybody that's been watching the earthquakes for a long time knows that they've been taking uh, half off. And we're starting to wonder how much they're taking off, okay? So watch that video uh, of mine. Holy Wow, holy cow, cover-ups from tickers to your, to make sure that your videos don't look like they're being watched very much. They'll keep the tickers down on them. Uh, and uh, lots of data, folks. So as you can see, and then the idea that sometimes you'll see a lower number than that, and they do it on purpose to make people not watch the videos. People aren't going to watch YouTube videos that don't have a very high tick rate. You know, so if nobody else is looking at it, why am I going to look at it? Everybody wants to be hip all the time, folks. We just share truth and data here. Believe me, the numbers are a lot bigger than that. And here we go, and also they make our videos, they put sound ticks to them and also make them play hard on Java. So just be, just keep on trying to watch them. They make it a pain in the ass to see the truth, folks. So anyway, we got Y2000, and we know that this is going to be closed for a long time. And check it out, we think we f might have it on Soho. Either that or we got some other object. Current positions, and yes, even our comments, we know that our tickers are way bigger than what they say they are because we'll even show you. Everybody knows that Bino made the pricks take the box off of the volume on the RADs and CPM. Well, also other things get pushed around because people say certain things. Okay, those were your current positions of objects, and then you got to remember that this is a long distance between here and there if that is Mercury, if they haven't made a mistake on this. But we did find the other night that they didn't put Mars in the hole. I mean Mercury. They didn't put Mercury down in the hole down here towards Sun. Now this could be correct because it's right close to the Sun's flare. But we know that last night, yesterday, the video before this, you can see where they put Mercury. Uh, they put Mars wrong. They put Mars in the hole, okay, beside the Sun, okay, which was wrong. So we've got this object here. We pretty much figured that that's our Y2000. Sorry about that, folks. YA2000. YA2000. 2000 YA. Okay, and there's your very close. This is one of our closest objects. A lot slower than a lot of our faster ones. We've had stuff that was up to 20, way above, I think, 26 something. So another thing is, is just realize how fast this is. And it is a higher meter. It's like an 800, 880 meter, because most stuff is like down to 31 meters, small stuff. So it is bigger and faster, that one there. But we've seen other stuff like that. But as we always change position in space, anything can become something else. So very likely, and yes, we follow the sun and we're getting closer into the supergiants, and yes, why we get these, and these are all objects around Earth, ladies and gentlemen. So hopefully all this stuff is always moving along with us, or we could get new objects around us. And also, the very interesting is also that basically our magnetism on, the, on our south pole, which I could be wrong, that could end up being the north pole, because like they do sit here and explain to you, like I've been trying to tell you, is like the Navy shows us north up when they show us the Navy shots and I'll bring up two and three and see what we got there fresh and this Christmas Eve day we basically have some big CMEs up there at the Sun this is footage and there was a quite a few just before this so the Sun is very busy today CM 
ease and I kind of apologize I should have had that up a little bit higher so you guys can see that better there you go so material and I believe if you zoom in you may or th yeah there are a planet system down there that we are that is somewhat new to us fresh to us now that could be all the way to the other side of the sun below it doesn't matter it's up by the sun when we get the views from our Soho camera. So this, these objects here, watch the last video. It's very important to watch the last video because it's all these planets down there, okay, that are very noticeable. Okay, so the sun is CME in like crazy again. So the next day or so, we probably get some action down here on, uh, especially we probably should even probably this Christmas Eve get that CME that I showed you the other day. So remember this, where the location says everything's at, and remember that when they show us Mars, then it's a very large distance between there. Here's an animation of the sun in the center in the well and the earth that rotates around it all the time in our asteroid belts. And But the, remember that the idea we are as close to our asteroid belts as possible right now and melding with the supergiants. So uh, some kind of a technical play. Uh, this thing was playing just fine here a minute ago. And, it's, and what is unique is the idea that from way out it does look like a gigantic heart. The earth and the sun. So for our religious folks there anyway but it does look like a gigantic heart pumping as you do zoom out this is our asteroid belts the earth and the sun the sun in the center and the earth rotating around it all the time and then yes a star very high north so interesting stuff ladies and gentlemen okay there's your asteroid play and why you 55 did come by so here's a shot of it but you can't really the Real close-up stuff you can't really rely on because the idea that you can see in the outside that it's moving by so fast with all the picture frames that there's going to be heights on objects there that you really can't trust, even though that they nail it down that there's 68 to 98 foot something that they think they see on top of it, which could be any of these here, or even possibly that. Quite possible. Who knows? Maybe there's maybe there's still forestry or something on it. Maybe it didn't burn up that bad or something like that whenever it died or something like that. Who knows? So. It moved by so fast that the radar did, couldn't get it. Okay. They say that it moved by so fast that the idea that the JPL couldn't. And I did warn everybody it was going to be real fast. It did have a very fast speed. But i.e. our government, JPL, can monitor anything because they still, even though the blur and the fast speed, they still got these pictures digitally and then processed. So we get a shot of YU-55. Okay. So more than likely, and no matter what, this should be YA-2000. I mean, 2000 YA, folks. 2000 YA, that probably should be it. This is recent today. Let's open this up and look at it. And we want to thank the whole network. Merry Christmas and happy holidays to everybody. Okay? Everything. Okay? Happy holidays to everybody. So here's 400%, and let's zoom in a little bit more. There's at 900, and if I go any more, I think it's not going to give us a very good shot. You'll take out of the idea where the Earth's at, but we'll basically zoom in on that, I guess. Basically, I'll give you a thousand in a second, but there's Earth up there circled. Earth is in there somewhere within that circle. I wouldn't give it an exact size of that being Earth. They just put the dot where basically that is Earth right in there, the small, and more than likely that could possibly be the moon right there. But then again, it could be something else that we've been seeing recently as we blink out of there. We so no matter what, there is no falses out here, folks. This is all electronic data. This stuff comes back. This stuff is around Earth. And like I was just showing you, the idea that more than likely that should be YA, I mean 2000 YA. And then, like they say, the Earth there. And as you can see, half of it's lit up from the sun and half of it's not. Okay, so that's the Earth right there, that small sphere there. And then, more than likely... What other close objects we could have by there, and they don't like this, showing you the truth, because it's there, and you can always look at this stuff, and, i.e., the very interesting stuff, and like I said, it showed you the, watch the last video, and this stuff could be this close, folks, this here planet right there, that's getting covered up by the circle, could be that close, as you see, also see this right here, okay, so, take a look at Fireball, get your telescope out, Remember that anything on our back end by Neptune and uh, Uranus is going to be dark, completely black, 
i.e. the meatball that the Earth scientists on Space Cowboys when they got they made a, the conject conjecture or speech or in there the idea that we don't talk about the meatball okay so quite possibly even though this is getting some illumination from the supergiants or the Sun right now this could quite possibly be one of the giant pieces of our back door especially since it's in the dark right now and as you see that big darkness there and we know that that's the dark side of Earth right there uh, let's blow this up to a thousand all I know is watch our last video there is something there that's not the circle as you can see here and they're trying to basically use a circle to kind of block it out one's front shot and one's back shot and check this here out see triangulation and look at the gigantic black planet behind us so this is is more than likely Uranus and Neptune not right here but back that direction somewhere in this shot is Uranus and Neptune because they're in our back door in the dark pitch dark folks in space look at H1 there's pitch dark areas in space behind Earth up by Jupiter and Neptune but there also have been suns go to worldwide telescope and search out Neptune and Uranus and you will see that there are some suns that we have recently in the last who knows half dozen years or something like that or dozen years have found up because worldwide telescope does show those suns barely on a certain time bleated through way up behind uh, Uranus and Neptune so you see the dark side of Earth right here and you see this d dark glob there and you also see the brightness of this and you also see the circulars of the idea we know that that's probably too big to be the moon right there but it is on the dark side so it could be the moon but I would take the, the idea that anything smaller would be the moon way smaller than that would be the moon and basically since the moon is at the South Pole I would conjecture and guess that this could be the moon right there uh, something small is the moon nothing the, the larger items that are in that shot and ie you can't miss this big gigantic something back here and it's got circulars it's got rotations of bright stars around it which are basically more than likely moons or something so check out worldwide telescope all I know is these are live today 24th shots okay of Soho okay so very interesting views there is stuff out there very close to earth okay so get a telescope see what you can see but the idea like a you have to realize you're only going to see these objects. That's more than likely 2000 YA, but also remember this large stuff here, all this, all these things that are here, these are something out there in space. Otherwise, we wouldn't get a signal back. Okay? It would be just gray or blackness, but basically the black does show objects. So when you just get slate gray like that, that's space. That's nothing. That's darkness. When you get white and black on these shots, it's something. Okay? It's either a bright something, and if it's white, or it's dark something if it's black and we've known that there's a gigantic planet and you should be able to go anywhere worldwide telescope and even if they don't put a name on it there'll be a gigantic planet behind us up towards Jupiter and up behind Neptune and Uranus okay and there's your dark sunlit I mean your sunlit side and your and they don't like that they keep on clicking me out of there when I'm telling you the truth so that's the truth and remember the turn of earth we're not just gonna flop and this is showing you GPS basically this grid never changes but we are tilting as you can see the Sun is the supposed to be the winter solstice as far as away from us right now but we're at an all-time recorded human history closeness to the Sun right now and the Sun is in the supergiants that's the Sun right there and the moon is in front so there should be an eclipse there to th right now there should be an eclipse right now today on the 24th okay on Christmas okay and also objects coming by okay also we have the uh, 24th right here today we have that object there 2008 AF3 and there's the stats on that and IE get start getting used to uh, winter weather patterns with the axis turn folks and 2006 is about the only thing that even comes close to the weather patterns that we have 2006 but it's just an excuse because it's even way different than 2006 so get used to this new winter weather pattern here in northern New Mexico southern New Mexico southern New Mexico is probably going to be in the future more snow than northern New Mexico okay probably a new skiing destination which has always been good skiing there I there's your axis turn way off in South Pole okay it's your aurora Okay, moving through space at 60,000 miles an hour, and that's your static on the north and south pole as we go through space. Okay, 
It's your magnetic fields that you always see the long lines and the satellite shots, folks. So way off on the South Pole, North Pole's back, but there's been a lot of movement there. So earthquakes in Nehemiah would be next on the videos today, probably. Happy holidays, everybody.